things off a little bit differently today and start outside outside the front door and show you guys a little bit of the exterior decorations that are still underway. We still need a doormat and everything. Let's go into the warm and cozies and take you through a full decoration house tour. So when you come in through the front door, there's a tree right at the window here and it is from Restoration Hardware. It's very cute and rustic and I love it. We've had it forever and it stays lit all the time. Right next to it, the bench is also from Restoration Hardware. We've got a little plaid pillow on there. And then coming in, we usually always have some ambient Christmas music playing. This one is awesome. It's like a Home Alone ambient. It's, I think it's called like Kevin's Party. It's very cool. So I'll show it to you guys when we're closer. So let's start in the kitchen. So one thing that we did a little bit differently this year is I hung a garland all the way across to kind of almost make like an entrance frame into the kitchen. We have the topiaries on either side. That was there last year. Those are from Lowe's. I love them. They actually twinkle a little bit like they have like a slow twinkle on them. They're very pretty. So this garland was a definite success. I have a full video on the thought process and the vlog behind it and just the decor process of that, which was really fun. So the first thing in the kitchen, I always set up this little pie tray. It's a Ray Dunn pie tray. I love it. it. Says tis the season. I've got a peppermint brownie candle going, and then I've got another candle back here. And I actually used a Ray Dunn topper for it. And then this, you guys ask a lot about it. It's a cookie jar. <laughs> we don't use it for cookies, but just as decoration. It's a Mickey. He's really cute, and he's just from the Disney store from a couple years ago. And then I've got a Minty's Mickey, Mickey Mickey's Minty Mocha from Confectionery. And then this is a pine candle. I'm not sure where I got that one. I just burn all different candles. And then I've got a little plate that I got this year in Disney World and my brother made this tray. So I just kind of put it all together and that's like our little centerpiece. But as the season goes, there's gonna start to be baked goods that go out on the tray and everything. So it's the perfect little spot for that. And then by the sink, I will show you guys that, but this is the back angle. So it adds a little bit of ambiance. There's a candle going here and I usually have some oils or a little scent in here. And then I've got my soap and my new soap tray, which I will show you, so cute. And then in the candy dish, that's all lit up in there as well. And then we've got a tree on the front step. And then I've got this little bell. It's new this year. I would love to train Carl to be able to, to ring the bell whenever he wants to go to the front balcony. I heard that some dogs can do that. I think that'd be so cool. All right, so this is our little kind of coffee bar area in the kitchen. And then you can see how the garland kind of goes along and goes on top of the fridge. And if you watch the vlog where I did this, I actually ended up with way too much string lights. So I just continued it on and did it over the fridge, which worked out really well. So our bar area, I have like a Mrs. Claus's Cookie Co two candle pillars and then I put like a little wreath thing around it and it's actually really pretty. There's like snowflakes on it and it has like an icy finish to it. Really, really cute. And I have these little candy candle holders. So it kind of just goes with the theme, like the cookie candy theme, bakery theme, I guess you would say. And then I've got, I have mugs everywhere. So I have this warm wishes mug that goes with this plate. And then I have our donuts, dumbbells and dreams, very merry mugs, which are so cute. I'll link them down below for you guys. I always link these down below. Tis the season to be cozy and cookies, coffee and Christmas cheer. And then here I have my Nespresso pods. I've got my teapot, still need to make some hot cocoa. I've got our countdown to Christmas, I love this thing. And then listen, we have three tiered trays this year, so I'm gonna take you through a full tour of all of them, but this is the gingerbread and like sweets tiered tray, which I'm obsessed with, I love it. I stacked them pretty big this year. <laughs> and we'll turn around this way and take you to the next coffee area. So here we have our kettle. Andre uses this almost every morning because he makes instant coffee or if we have tea. So that's always plugged in there. And then here I have like the Rudolph kind of North Pole theme. So I've got a Rudolph mug up here with some gingerbread. And I, again, I stacked these like really, really tight. I put a couple ornaments, North Pole mug, Mickey's cocoa, another Rudolph mug with the topper is Ray Dunn. And then this plate that I got at HomeSense. Super cute. Okay. And then in the middle of the stove, love this. This was in my Ray Dawn haul and was a gift. It's a Merry Christmas Ray Dunn kettle. 
love it. It's the same idea as how I put the pumpkin on the stove at Halloween, but just gives me something in the middle of the stove, which is so cute. <gasps> Listen, I got a new bowl. I got a bowl just for Christmas. Now we need a red one. No, I'm just kidding. We're good. But I thought instead of the black, I thought that was so cute. And I got some matching little bowls for it, which I'll show you in a minute. This one is the Santa Claus, like milk and cookies tiered tray. Yes, we have three tiered trays. I'm here for it all. So I have this Santa's cookie, Ray Dunn, little tin tray. What, do we have things in here? It, this is always exciting. Sometimes there could be decorations. No, there's nothing in there. Sometimes I store decorations in there. So I have some little fake candies in here, some little bows, gummy bears, candy. Like they are, these are stacked to the brim. Again, a Ray Dunn topper on top of a different mug. I thought that was really cute. And then some little gnomes. So that's what's going on in the kitchen. Then I'll show you the sink from this side. So I always put some fairy lights through here. I've done this for a while now. This is just some candy garland. And then I put fairy lights and I string them through and it just kind of creates a really nice little ambiance in the kitchen. And then in here, I always have some little oils or something diffusing in the Santa. And then this just came in. This is from the Disney store and I thought it was so cute. It's a spoon holder, but I thought to hold our little our little holiday soaps would be really cute. All right, so let's keep going. I'm so excited to show you the rest of this floor. It's so exciting. Okay, this is also new. So the table runner is double-sided. I had that last year, but I decided to get this like cute little garland from Michaels. This is a Mark Roberts elf. He is phenomenal. I got him on sale from Nordstrom Rack because a, Mark's, a Mark Roberts elf is like insane. Now, the bar cart was just, just finished today, which is why we're doing this tour now, because I could not figure out what I wanted to do for the bar cart. I was not loving it. And I just keep upping the ante every year and I feel like I nailed it. So this is a view from, just pulled back a little bit. It's chaotic and I'm obsessed. So here's the theme. It's like a Santa's postal service gift wrapping situation. So last year I had this on the floor and I thought, no, we're just gonna jam pack it. So less about alcohol, more so about decoration. So I've got this post office, Santa's letter, little mailbox. And then I've got, this is an electric candle. It's not a real candle, don't freak out. So I can just turn it off with a switch. And I put a little Santa hat on top of that. I've got two champagne bottles back there. These came on like a Robert Mondavi wine bottle. I thought that was perfect. I got this at Michael's this year. I thought this was so cute, just from Home Goods in like the wrapping section, but it literally looks like elves are like wrapping stuff. My gingerbread plate, some martini glasses. We're gonna give some new martini glasses a go. This was from Michael's, I think last year with the elf who kind of matches, Mr. Papa Elf, and then a little tree behind him. Oh, and then I've got this sign up here, which was you know, also a different spot last year. So we moved some things around. I got some garland. I, I'm loving the multicolored lights this year. Love them. They're so retro and they're just super fun. The Santa, some reindeer snacks, and then I've got this sled. So my brother made this bar cart as well as the sled or sleigh. Talented dude. Listen, he needs a website. He needs to do things. If he ever allowed me to, you know, create a warehouse for him and sell these things, I totally would. He's so talented. Isn't that amazing? He's done a lot of things that we have in this house. Okay. So I put an elf in here, the little light up Mickey, and then I filled the sled with like candy and gingerbread. And then there's a garland going behind there also. And then here I put the naughty and nice cups from Ray Dunn the canister at the back and then a gnome back there also. And I felt like the Claws & Co tray went really well. I think I had that there last year. So I, we actually put the alcohol bottles in there. These are the little bowls that I was telling you about that match the, oh my gosh, it's chaotic and I love it. They, these match the KitchenAid mixer bowl, which is so cute. I've got one martini glass that survived from last year back there and then a new Santa here. So I kind of just made like, almost like a treats plate under there. And then down here, I have our two, these are like Andre's old fashioned glasses that he uses for his old fashioned, but they rock, they're really cool. And I just put some lollipops in there. And then I've got my Minnie Mouse snowman, snow lady, and then some candles as well. So I'm super happy with the bar cart. I feel like that turned out really well. If you guys like it, let me know. I always know, I always love knowing your opinions. So then the ribbons that come down from the sign and then just here before you kind of go in, to the living room. I've got this console table. This one I really jam packed as well. Oh, and this is usually on. So this is a Disney Christmas tree and it's so cute. 
There's so much detail in this tree. It's just so pretty. It sings also. And there's some lights in there. And there's like every character. Like sometimes Andre and I just sit here and we look at it and find all the detailed pieces on it. It's so cool. So I have some garland intertwined in here. The same glitter kind of light up candles, some gold pine cones, and these little sticks that I got at Michael's. And I just kind of intertwine that into our lamp that's always there. And then I threw in some cinnamon sticks that I also got at Michael's. And then under here, I have a couple of fake candles going in these candle holders on the reindeers that it just, just fits. And then I've got the extra candle holder back there and then the second reindeer under here. And then same thing, I've just got some pine cones and I've got a giant pine cone back there. And then three of the four martini glasses from last year survived. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take you through this tree and then I will take you around second tree and then we'll finish with the village and that will be part of the tour for today because there's so much to share. So this is the elf tree. I have a full video on this elf tree from last year. He is a new tree that we ended up getting last year. This is a twinkly tree so you can actually program how you want the lights. So I programmed them this way so they're red and green flickering. I got a couple of new pieces this year. I shared that in an unboxing. So there's a bunch of elves in here. I had so many elves and I love my elves. So I ended up painting this ladder, kind of stuck them all in the tree. It's very chaotic. I love the chaos, love the elves, love the details. Like they're everywhere, but I'm obsessed. And then I got these gnomes last year and I just realized he is dressed exactly how Scott Calvin is dressed in the Santa Claus whenever he goes to visit Charlie and they're like, we're gonna take you away from him or when they escape together. Literally, he's wearing the same outfit. Just wanted to point that out. I was like, he looks like my gnome. So I ended up getting three gnomes last year and it became a full thing. So these are the other two that I got, they're so cute. And then I got this lamp post that I got at the same time as the topiaries. So a little Mickey lamp post, he's very cool. So then going up the stairs, there's all the elves as well. And all of this is lit up with like an icicle garland on here. And all of the elves are different and they go all the way up. And we will save that probably for part two of the house tour and venture upstairs because there is a lot more upstairs. Okay, you know what? Let's actually just go upstairs because you need to see the bedroom. So the lights just continue and then I drape them up here so that you can kind of see it whenever you come through the front door and you look up, you can see those lights. So going into our bedroom, everything is all lit up right now, so I figured we might as well. So definitely did new things this year. Andre hasn't seen this yet and he's gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's a party in here. So these also were supposed to go outside and I thought, well, I'm never gonna see them if they're outside because I don't leave the house. So we're gonna put them inside. So I found these crates because without the crates, it was absolutely chaotic. So. In the house transformation video, I will show you exactly how I did this, but these are like stuffed inside, they're secure, they're in like a pick, it's supposed to go into the ground, but they kind of like smoothly change colors. At first I didn't think they were on. Can we please note the attention to detail that I put some trickling snow as though it like snow fell onto them, just saying. This is actually batting from a pillow, <laughs> a couple pillows, and then some fallen snow that I kind of just made it look like it snowed on it as though it would be if it was outside. And then I just put a couple candles because I plan on turning these on whenever we're filming up here. And then I put a couple stockings from our collection in here. I've got the margaritas one. These are all gonna be gifts. So they're gonna be like gift bags for gifts that we're giving to family and friends. And then I've got a couple pillows. So I think the pillows, I'm not gonna do it right now, but this one and the one that's downstairs, I'm gonna put them on the bed. So I have the margarita pillow back here, also super cute. And then I just realized that there was a big shadow. So then I have the gingerbread pillows, some squishmallows, just some different situations and a really cute elf up there. So then what I did this year is I draped some multicolored cluster lights. So same lights that I used that I was showing you guys in the previous videos, I got multicolored ones and I love them. And then I had some extra garland. So I put it at the top. And then this year for the white tree, if you've ever seen my videos in previous years, this tree is usually a candy cane, like chaotic pink tree. And this year I just wanted to leave him plain and I stuffed him and we're calling it a day with that so far. And those of you that know me know that I'm never done. So we shall see. And then I put a little elf hanging from my lamp up here. 
This ornament is very special to me. He's from Bermuda. My dad got him for me. I always say my mom or my dad. Both of them got it. Just one was with me at the time. <laughs> so he came with me from Bermuda. And then I have this new blanket from our collection, which I'm upset. This is my favorite design. I keep trying to decide, but we just decided. So Sherpa blanket. I'm obsessed. I love it. I literally sleep with that every single night. I've got a little postcard pillow down here. And then th these are usually the things that are in the tree. So I thought it'd be really cute to just kind of put them as decor. So that's probably what's going to happen with the rest of the ornaments that usually go in the tree, just end up as decoration. But like you guys always say, I'm never done. All right, let's go back downstairs and I'll show you like the bathroom and like all the things in another video because there's more decorations to come. So this is what's usually in that white tree. So I think these are going to find a home somewhere. And then this is that fallen, the fresh fallen snow. It's by department 56. Okay, let's go back downstairs, by the way. <laughs> no bells today though okay so coming back downstairs this tree actually has like a bunch of picks and sticks in it it's super cool and like I said I have a full video on it from last year and this elf actually climbs up and down the ladder so I thought he was perfect for the elf tree new this year is this little guy so he usually just sits in the corner I like this and I put like some snow so he feels at home in his little corner. Listen, I could put him outside, but I want to enjoy him. And I feel like I'd appreciate it more than our neighbors. So listen, I'm going to appreciate him. So in here, I've got Carl's bed, one of Carl's beds, which you'll see what I mean in a second, his little Christmas toys. And then I've got a ton of pillows in this little section here. I've got some Squishmallows, some Disney pillows. I love these Christmas balls. I had wanted to make some and Michael's ended up selling them a couple years ago. Disney blanket, love the pattern on this there's like like some little hidden mickeys and there's some sherpa on the other side got him this year new squishmallow oh my mom got me this guy well my mom and my dad i have a feeling my mom said get it and my dad brought it home so <laughs> my parents got andre and i him he's very fabulous and this is what I meant by the other bed. So Carl loves his bed. I've shared this in previous videos. This is from the Very Merry Collection also. I personally use it as a floor pillow and I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. I ended up putting the big plate that I shared with you guys on this tray with a little Christmas tree, like a flocked Christmas tree. And then I have this, which is also from my parents. Listen, I have to get it from someone, right? So my parents got us that. And then this is the, the vibe in here. Isn't that like the cutest background? Like there's so much detail. I want to take you closer to the TV so you can see how much detail they put into this. So we kind of just let this play in the house. There's a couple different ones that we listen to. I'll share them on my Instagram story so you can see, but that's literally how we live and we play it through our Sonos. There's a Sonos bar here just under the TV and then it plays upstairs and throughout the house. So then these two chairs, I've got a little plaid blanket, matching pillow. Both are from Chapters Indigo. Love that place. These are from the Very Merry Collection as well. I think I'm gonna bring one of them upstairs. I think I'm gonna bring that one upstairs and just kind of rejig things, cause that's how I do. But I love these, they're super soft. They have like the felt finish on them. And then this I saw in a store, like a little boutique here in Ottawa and I ended up sourcing it out for like half the price on Amazon. He's so pretty, I love him. So then you've got like the fireplace going and the big stockings. I always get asked about the big stockings. They were a gift when I was a kid from my parents. Like those were my stockings. Well, mine and Andre's when we were younger. I've been dating Andre since I'm 15. So I've had these since I'm 15 years old and they're phenomenal. They literally have like the curly cue and everything at the bottom. Like they're so neat. Love, love, love. So one thing that I did differently this year and I shared a little bit this in the vlog was I added a garland all the way around and I also added these tall trees as well. So all of this is new and it's just like on a whole other level. So these little curly cues are all new, the pine cone and the garland and the, yeah, it's all just on another level. And then I've had this for a while too, also from my parents, just they got it at a little store from where they live and the elves are basically like hanging out their laundry to dry over the fire, which I thought was very cute. And then I've got all these tiny little elves. I love, love, love these little elves. They're mostly by, what are they called? I was gonna say Limax, that's the village. They are, let me, I wanna tell you. So they all have different names. They're Floridas is the, the supplier and they all have names. So he's Roland, Rolands. They're adorable. Listen, you mess with my elves, you mess with me. 
and then this guy has his little mittens on here this guy he had a few too many cookies okay I'm having way too much fun all right we started wrapping a couple gifts. This is a gift for my bestie. I've got a little, I bought him last year and I think he's just like the cutest thing, like a little Mickey. I think he's a tree topper, but I just kind of put him on our gifts. And then I've got a floor pillow down here with my jingle slippers. <laughs> and then this tree is the OG. So this tree was gifted to us by Andre's parents. So I feel like both of our parents very much support our, my addiction to Christmas. So fabulous tree. I love this tree. And it's, it's such a, this is the longest tree to put together hands down. Cause there's so much work that goes into it, but it's basically just crazy, chaotic, just <laughs> peppermint chaos. I don't really know what else to call it, but there's so many ornaments and so many sticks in here and it's just, it's nuts, but it's pretty and I love it. And yes, it's crazy, but it is what it is. So right next to the tree, I've got some more gifts. This present actually lights up. Again, I'll share this all in like the house transformation. This scent HD right now, this is where I wish we had smell of vision This thing smells right now like Christmas tree and a little hint of orange. It's fabulous. Then I've got my village in here, which you guys helped me with on Instagram. So a couple of my Limax pieces, if anyone here is listening and has owned a Limax piece or works for Limax or can help me with this. Like, I think I want to say, I don't want to exaggerate. I want to say like five of my Limax pieces have broke. So he's broken, he's broken. And then he's still good. And then I have two or three, or I think my dad has one, two to fix three plus downstairs that are broken. So it's not going well for Limax. So a lot of you guys said go with Department 56, like do the Disney ones. So I ordered this this year. I had ordered him last year. He's Department 56. And I like how he's kind of animated. So listen, we just ordered him, but look what he does. Isn't it like, I feel like a kid would be like, whoa. <laughs> So it's like the, the electricity plant, Northern Lights Power. I thought that was so cute. He's my original Lee Max, and he's the reason why I keep or kept buying them because he's fine, totally fine. And then the popcorn one is totally fine, but I do like the Disney ones. So, and then the noise that you can hear, <laughs> if you can hear it, this is another Lee Max piece and it's breaking. It's like he's, he's struggling but it still is pretty. And then I put some multicolored lights through here as well. And then I love this. I have prep and landing. What's their names again? Oh my gosh. Is it Lenny? Lenny and I don't know. All I know is he goes, that's so tinsel. I love prep and landing. It's the cutest movie. So I have them hanging from the clock. So yes, a lot of chaos, but a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. The pizza delivery guy just drove by in the home alone thing. Okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will quickly take you into my office, but listen, the tours are gonna keep going. I'm gonna share the entire decorating process. I filmed everything as to how I decorated the different rooms. This is new this year. I got him in the parks, but I'm gonna share everything. Like I literally filmed when I decorated the trees, what I did. I'll take you guys in here real quick. So I did some little Ray Dunn jars with some sticks in there. I have a candle going in here, a warm and cozy. I love these soaps. They're kind of overpriced, but they're beautiful. And then I always do like guest napkins. Listen, we're having zero guests in our house, but it is what it is. Andre and I will use them. And then in the back here, I usually have some just banana leaves and I stuffed a bunch of those gold little curly cues in here. Oh, and then underneath I have some, some little soaps and details also you would think that we're having like 20 people over to our house we're literally having no one we do it we do it for us it's okay we enjoy it okay so quick office tour and then, then i will be on my merry way so we've got yoda because he needed to be here the child then the other child <laughs> so carl's artwork that we had done from weston willow I will link it for you guys down below. They did a couple for us, so cute. And then I've got all my popcorn buckets and little sippy cups. So I've got some that I got in the parks, some were gifts. This one's from this year as a gift. Oh, and this turns on. Oh, it is on, okay, I thought it was off. So I've got some multicolored lights in here too. Mickey and Minnie, I've got some elves. I've got these wishables. So a couple little different pieces in here. 
but definitely the big statement piece in here is the tree. I love this tree. I actually shared it on my TikTok, how I decorated it, which was one of my first TikToks. I think it was my first TikTok. So excited. It's so pretty, this tree. Like it's just, it just came together so well whenever we decided to do it. And I got these like extra large pine cone sticks. Everything just worked out. I got three of these from HomeSense. It just worked. And then all these little glitter pom-poms. And then I have the same curly cues as I do in the other tree, just gold and white instead. And then on my desk and back here, I'll show you guys some real life stuff. So I've got some pillows. One of our Santa's little helper from the Very Merry Collection. Look at all of our, look, I've got merch everywhere. I truly love our merch. Okay. This is my gift wrapping section. So I've got like all of Andre's, Andre, don't look. I've got all of Andre's <laughs> gifts that I'm wrapping and some, some family gifts as well. And then I've got some giveaway stuff that I'm sending up. This is like my little gift wrapping basket. And look at how cute our wrapping paper is. So we've got some Mickey and Minnie stuff and then some like ombre candy cane. It has to go with the theme. It has to go with the theme. Listen, oh, and I'm also wrapping Carl's gifts. So, oh, and by the way, the fairy lights that I use, some of them, they're actually on a USB and they're plugged to the back of my computer, so I don't have to keep changing out batteries. I feel like that could be an interesting tip for you guys. So that is the full first floor. I definitely love sharing the tours and sharing all the details of the house and take you guys through everything and just kind of sharing our love for decorating and our love for Christmas. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes. Bye.